Hello guys. Today's discussion dives into one of the most surprising storylines in China's EV race, something that should grab the attention of every electric vehicle fan, every investor, and especially anyone following NIO, Li Auto, or the broader new energy market. Over the last few years, Li Auto built a reputation for incredible growth, impressive operational efficiency, and month-after-month -month delivery records. Yet today, that same company is facing a sharp drop in sales, raising serious questions about what went wrong, what they plan to fix, and what these developments mean for competitors, especially NIO. This video breaks down Li Auto's issues, their new strategy, why their slowdown is happening now, and how NIO's innovation first mindset has kept them moving forward while others stumble. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research. Let's start with the big picture. Li Auto, a company that once seemed untouchable in terms of delivery growth, is suddenly facing a sales decline that has caught the entire industry's attention. After stunning performance throughout 2023 and strong momentum early in 2024, the company has now reported a meaningful drop. Their October deliveries came in 16% lower compared to the same month last year and that is a dramatic shift for a brand that previously saw almost continuous year-over-year -year growth. A drop of that magnitude is not just a slight slowdown, it's a warning sign that something deeper is happening beneath the surface. Sales declines like these don't just appear out of nowhere. They often reflect cracks in strategy, product appeal, or competitive positioning. And in this increasingly crowded EV market, where technology advances every quarter and consumer expectations evolve rapidly, even strong companies can stumble if they stop pushing forward. What's happening to Li Auto is a real-time case study in that reality. The company's leadership, including its president, has openly addressed the situation and pointed out several key factors behind the shrinking sales figures. What's even more interesting is how transparent Li Auto has been about its internal missteps. They've acknowledged that their innovation pace slowed and that their products began to feel too similar and predictable. Meanwhile, competitors especially brands like Mio kept introducing new technology, refreshed designs, and stronger software capabilities. Customers noticed the contrast. One of Li Auto's biggest admissions is that their product cycles have been too slow. Up until recently, Li Auto updated major platforms roughly every four years. In the EV industry, four years is an eternity. By the time an update arrives, competitors may have already released multiple new versions packed with superior technology. This is precisely why Li Auto is now planning to shorten their cycle dramatically from four years down to two. They want more frequent model refreshes, more distinctive design language, and more cutting-edge features across their lineup. Another major issue they highlighted is the late start on global expansion. While companies like NIO, BYD, and Xpeng have been aggressively exploring international markets, Li Auto stayed mostly focused on China. Only now are they accelerating overseas plans, but catching up in the global EV arena is extremely challenging once competitors are already deeply rooted. But the most telling factor in their struggle is their lag in advanced technology development, especially in autonomous driving and in-house computing power. Li Auto revealed that they are now spending around 100 million RMB per month to build their own automotive grade ship and boost their computing resources. That is a huge investment and shows how far behind they feel compared to companies already producing their own hardware. This brings us to NEO a company that has taken a completely different approach over the past few years. While Li Auto is only now racing to build its autonomous driving chip, NIO has already mass-produced its own the Shenji NX9031. Not only is this chip powering the latest generation of NIO vehicles ET9, ET5 Turing, ES6, EC6, ES8, and others, but NIO is also supplying this chip to other automakers and earning millions through licensing. This is an enormous strategic advantage because controlling your own computing platform reduces dependency, lowers long-term costs, and opens new business lines. The performance difference is also notable. 
Xpeng's Turing chip delivers impressive capability around 700 tops of computing power. But Neo's Shenji chip exceeds 1,000 tops demonstrating an entirely different level of engineering capability. When the market sees such a difference, it becomes clear why companies want access to Neo's technology and why Neo continues to position itself as a leader in intelligent driving. This contrast between Li Auto and Neo highlights an important truth. The EV industry punishes complacency. No matter how strong a company seems, even a few months of stagnation can cost them momentum. Li Auto's struggles should serve as a reminder to Neo that success today is no guarantee of success tomorrow. Even with breakthrough technologies, in-house chips, advanced software stacks, and rapid model development, Neo cannot afford to slow down. The competition in China is too aggressive, and the market shifts too quickly. If a company relaxes for even a short period, rivals can seize market share faster than anyone expects. This is why continuous R&D investment is essential, and why NEO's heavy spending in areas like chips, AI, battery systems, and manufacturing efficiency is not optional its survival. At the same time, Li Auto's situation may also be a wake-up call for the entire industry. Innovation determines which companies stay at the top and which ones fall behind. The companies that push boundaries thrive. The ones that slow down even those that once dominated can suddenly face dropped sales, weaker demand, and shrinking market confidence. As investors, observers, or fans of EV innovation, we should pay close attention to how Li Auto executes its updated strategy. Shorter product cycles, smarter technology investments, faster AI integration, and a redesigned global plan sound promising, but will they be enough? That remains to be seen. Meanwhile, NEO must continue advancing its battery swap ecosystem, strengthening its autonomous driving system, refining its chips, and staying ahead of every major competitor. China's EV market moves at lightning speed, and any company that pauses risks being overtaken almost overnight. To sum it all up, Li Auto's recent sales decline isn't just a temporary dip, it's a reflection of deeper strategic issues, slower innovation, long product cycles, and delayed global expansion. Their leadership openly acknowledges these problems and has announced major changes ranging from AI investment to chip development to faster model upgrades. On the other hand, NEO's commitment to relentless innovation, especially in autonomous driving chips and intelligent systems, has kept them competitive even in a market as fiercely contested as China's. Li Auto's struggle serves as a warning to every EV brand, if you fall behind on technology, you risk losing the market entirely. And for NEO, it is a reminder that the only path to long-term success is to keep accelerating, keep innovating, and keep evolving faster than the competition. The EV race is unforgiving, and the companies that stay sharp will be the ones that shape the future. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.